Good day. Today we're going to be learning how to make a planet, and eventually, a galaxy. Good stuff. Okay, let's start out. Uh, let's get a new canvas. File new. Uh, 640 by 480. Okay, so slightly bigger. Okay, 640 by 480. After that, what you're going to do is you're going to be setting it up. Uh, we're going to first set out like sort of the texture for our uh, our planet's surface. So. Let's go ahead, we're going to go to Filters, and then Render, and then Clouds, and then uh, Difference Clouds. So Filters, Render, Clouds, Difference Clouds. Okay, uh, with our uh, Detail, we're going to set that to 15. Uh, the, so for Detail 15, X Size, we're going to set to 11.6. Our Y, we're going to set to 11.6 as well. Click on OK. Alright, so there we go. We've got our texture. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add our color. Okay, So this is, you do not have to do this color. So you're going to go to Color, uh, Colorize, and you're just going to go ahead and set it to really whatever color you'd like. I'm going to set mine to a, a bluish sort of thing. You know, just play around with these sliders. Okay, there's no right answer for this. Okay, so let's just play around. There we go. Click on OK. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add some sort of, um, uh, eh, sort of enhance our texture. So we're going to go to uh, Filters, Map, then Bump Map. Okay, and now this is, here's the things we got to set it to. Okay, so for uh, Azimuth, that's the top one, we're going to set that to uh, around 296. Our elevation, that's the next one. So that's elevation. We're going to set to 55. And our depth, we're going to set to 32. 32. Click on OK. So I added that sort of texture uh, to our clouds. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and here to uh, another texture uh, sort of improvement thing. We're going to do filters, map, Displace. So let's go to Filters, Map, and Displace. Filters, Map, Displace. And then we're going to select just here where it says Edge Behavior. Instead of Wrap, we're going to set it to Smear. Okay. All right, so we sort of change that texture up a little bit. And now we're going to actually take this and we're going to make the turn into a planet, if you will. So here we go. Filters, Distorts. Okay, filters, distorts, and then polar coordinates. Filters, distorts, then polar coordinates. Okay, from here, what we're going to do is we're going to set it to, uh, make sure the uh, circle depth is set to 100. And then what, what we need to do is, where it says here, map from top, see how that's checked? Make sure that's, uh, we want to make sure that's unchecked, okay? and then click on OK. That's going to make a circle. So our next step is going to be to get rid of this hard line here, because that, that really ruins our planet there. So we're going to zoom in. Okay. So what we're going to do is we can do this a couple different ways. We could use our sort of band-aid tool, or we could use our clone tool. Okay. So let's go ahead. I'm going to use my clone tool. And you see how my brush is pretty big there? I'm going to dial that down so it's smaller, a little bit more. Okay, there we go. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start from the top. Okay, and let's see, do side to side. So you can do it a couple different ways. You can do sort of a side to side thing like that, or sample it, sample a spot like really close to it. Okay, so I'm just going to make my brush a little smaller, zoom in a little more. Okay, and we're going to do a control click like right next to it and then we'll just bring it down like that and that's going to take away that hard edge okay so let's let's just zoom out a little bit there that's helping a bit but we still got to still got to play around here so we're just going to try to take get rid of that hard edge this is a part where you just take your time with it okay uh, another thing you do is you can also use the uh, sort of band-aid tool that will work too okay just take your time with it though. I'm just moving it quickly because uh, YouTube only has a certain time limit. So just, just heal that up. Okay, Get rid of that hard edge. Now you can barely even see it. Awesome. 
Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to add the stars behind our planet. So this is going to be kind of neat. So let's go ahead to our uh, layers menu. Okay, if you don't have your layers menu, just click there, add tab, layers. Okay, go to your layers menu. We're going to add a layer. Remember how we add a layer just like that. Okay, you can set it to transparency, that works. And we're going to make sure we put the layer, that new layer we just made, let's call that stars. Okay, stars, and then press your return key, that's going to set it there. Click on the down arrow here, we're going to put that below there, or you can just sort of drag it, you click and drag it like that, stars. What we're going to do then is we're going to set, get our paint bucket out, make sure it's set to uh, fill hole selection. Okay. And we're just going to paint that in all black. Okay. Make sure you're set it where it's a different layer and it's below your planet. Okay. Then what we're going to do now? Let's add the stars. So let's go to filters, noise, HSV noise. And this is kind of neat. Um, we're going to set here our uh, two, our holdness to two, three to hue. Uh, 10 to saturation, and then here's the big thing, 123, it's going to add 123 stars, basically, basically. So let's click on OK. There we go, we got a star field. Actually, it looks like more than 123, so. <laughs> All right, so uh, our next step is now we're going to scale our planet down, okay? So let's go ahead here, get our scale tool, okay, there's our scale tool, and let's scale this puppy down, and whoop. Notice, notice. Make sure you are on the layer that has the planet on it, okay? Make sure you're on the layer that has the planet on it. Then what you do, there we go. Okay, so make sure that your planet is, you know, somewhat small, okay? Scale. All right, now what we're going to do then, let's go ahead and let's move it. So there's our planet there. We're almost done. I want you to make a actually sort of a, a solar system. So more than just like, um, you know, one planet. So we got to do one last thing with this, but make your planet pretty small because we're going to be adding a bunch of them. Okay. So what we're going to do is make sure you're on your back, uh, your um, your planet layer. Let's actually call this. Let's call it Planet One. Call it Planet One. Okay. Planet One. And then let's go ahead here to Layer, Transparency, Alpha to Selection. That's going to go ahead, see how we got the ants going around that? Now this is cool. We're going to add what's called uh, an atmosphere here. Okay. So let's go ahead, let's get our paint bucket up. Okay. Set our color to white. Okay. To do that, you know, if I've got black and white selected, I'll just flip it like that. And now we are going to add a new layer. Let's call it um, Planet One Atmosphere. How about we'll call it Sky, something like that. Planet One Sky. It really doesn't matter because we're going to be merging this layer down here soon. So let's then put that below our planet layer. Okay. And then we're going to just use our paint bucket. Okay. So actually, if you if we would hide that top, that top layer, you see this white background. What we'll do then is make sure you have your sky or as what's rightfully called your atmosphere selected okay do a select none then go to filters blur gaussian blur and set it to five and five and that's good what that's going to do is it's going to blur up your atmosphere just in the outside so there we go now let's reveal our planet again and there we go. You can see if you zoom in, see you zoom in. There's like sort of a little white kind of atmosphere type of thing around it. That's what we want. Now, guys, I just showed you how to make one planet. I want you to make try to make a complete solar system. Okay, so that would include a sun and a bunch of other planets. Uh, you know, be creative with your colors. Uh, it should be a pretty cool assignment. I look forward to your creativity and your work. Good luck.